John Pagan from International Fire Consultants, um, Chairman of the Fire Engineering Council of the Fire Industry Association. Uh, it's been set up a few years ago now, it's one of the more recent councils from the, in the FIA. The idea is that we will represent fire engineering companies, so we don't there is the professional body, the Institute of Fire Engineers, that represents individual fire engineers, but there is no organisation that represents companies, and there are some situations, areas where the, the IFE can't get into because they only deal with individuals, and they, certainly they can't really get involved with certain other areas. So the idea of the FIA Fire Engineering Council is to try and work with the IFE to try and make sure that those, some of those areas are dealt with. Um, two main aims. One is that the first one is to look at the competence of fire engineers, make sure that ideally all fire engineers working in the industry will be chartered. And the second one is to look at the extent of the uh, remit of fire engineers within, uh, within projects make sure that they're um, employed not just at the design stage but also through the construction stage as well to make sure it's a safe building that is built at the end of it. We also try and keep on top of new developments in the industry so that we'll be aware of any new standards that are coming out. Uh, we also need to be aware of the major concerns that there are within the industry and um, certain aspects of the you know, industry that we can work out to try and improve those to try and sort out any uh, the work that we're doing to try and address each of those problems. We're working on a on a number of different areas. We're putting some. We've previously put together some guidance documents on things like the standard scope of works for a fire engineer and guide for clients on how to appoint a competent fire engineer. We're working on other documents like a peer review guide and good practice guides on, um, with them in conjunction with other councils. Um, we're also trying to get involved in certain areas like um, yes, development, development standards. So we've got certain people that sit on, sit on uh, the British Standard Councils and to try and uh, get the feedback from there about how those areas are going. So, but we're working in quite a number of different areas. Continuing more of the work we're doing to date, making a bit more progress towards some of those objectives, I hope. So, particularly, we are finding more and more situations where there are problems occurring on site, that uh, the construction is carried out badly or not in accordance with the early stage design. And so, uh, appointing a fire engineer during the construction process and making sure that they are doing, carrying out quality control checks on site would alleviate a lot of those problems. So trying to push that agenda forward, which will take a while, it's not going to be a quick fix, uh, but it will be a good thing for the industry as a whole to, to have that involvement of fire engineers through the construction stage. Other than that, really trying to continue producing more guidance documents and uh, good, good practice guides for the, for the industry to try and help push those um, objectives of the um, the expertise of the, of the fire engineers and you know, within the industry. I think so to a certain extent. It's a slow burn. So, um, we have we're gradually increasing our number of members. Uh, we want to keep going. We want to take it further. Um, and the, the more members we get, the more influence we'll get. So it's um, we have produced guidance documents to to date. Their take up has probably been relatively limited, but hopefully over time, then that'll be that'll be increased. And the more publicity we get, then those those doc guidance documents will hopefully become standard. We want to try and push other areas like research projects as well, to try and do, which will push the industry forward as well as improve the reputation of the FIA within the industry as well. So um, I think there's a, it's it's moving gradually in the in the in the, in the right direction, and uh, hopefully. Over a period of time, we'll start to see more and more, more improvements in the industry as a result of it. Um, well, really, the application you would need to go in. There's particular criteria for uh, competence, so they need to meet the competence criteria for the FIA, which involves uh, the uh, empl company employing uh, chartered fire engineers. The other criteria is to do with quality control, so for example, things like um, ISO 9001 uh, compliance and 
other things like having the appropriate professional indemnity insurance in place. Partly it would be to uh, the ability to liaise with other fire engineering companies at a senior level. So we're getting quite senior level people coming to the, coming to the meetings. We can discuss with each other about major issues that uh, the different fire engineering companies are coming across and potential ways that the industry can address that. So it's very useful to be aware of those, uh, of those um, situations. But also the ability to actually drive the agenda forward as well. If there's particular topics or concerns that that company has, um, areas that, of the industry that they have concerns about, if that's a concern that is shared by other, com other companies within the, uh, within the council, then we can do something about it. There's really there's a lot of issues within the industry and people tend to spend a lot of time complaining about them. Complaining doesn't do anything. Um, you need to get together as a trade body to try and address that, to try and deal with it. That's when they get solved. Complaining about it really is no use to anyone. So this is the opportunity joining the FIA so that we can actually do something about these issues and drive the, the industry forward. Mm -hmm.